Training's pretty much constant. From the second I'm waking up to the second I'm going to sleep, training is what I'm worried about. As an elite athlete trying to finish in the money or get that last couple minutes out, you are constantly under the microscope, constantly looking at yourself. Every workout you're going, oh, should I have done more? Could I have gone faster? Why didn't I feel quite right? All those things are in question. I think the motivation to win or be your best really has to come from within and it has to come from what you want to achieve. I want to make an Olympic team. I want to see how hard and how fast I can go. You know, I can't rely on anybody else to race my race. I have to go there and push and push and push as hard as I want if I want to win a race, if I want to, you know, qualify for the Olympics. Going out and training at altitude is harder. I mean, you're, you're out of breath more, you're more fatigued, it's harder to recover. So it, it's a significant stress on the body that you can't really simulate at sea level. The reason I train at altitude is I know that there are significant benefits. If I spend some time at altitude, I'm able to compete at altitude. And if I spend time at altitude and go down in race, I've got my best results ever. I think that Ember can really show athletes what they're doing right and what they're doing wrong. Up until now, it was really hard to validate the changes in your blood. So having Ember and showing what my hemoglobin is, now those things will correlate to what I'm doing training-wise. Ember will definitely allow any athlete to train smarter. You're getting that constant feedback you, you would never get. With Ember, you're 90 seconds away at any time. Any moment, you're 90 seconds away from getting a definitive idea of where you're at. Any sort of data gives you a competitive advantage because it allows you to look at things retrospectively. So you can see, I did something, it didn't work. I did something and it worked. And you can go back and replicate those things. I'm excited with the Ember device to have definitive data on the differences in my body day to day based on being at altitude. I have never had that before. In endurance sports and for any athlete, confidence is the biggest factor. And as we have more and more data, if we get the data going in the right direction, that gives an athlete confidence. And when I'm confident, I race well. It's definitely tough to kind of train day in and day out and continuously and sometimes the same workouts. But, you know, when you challenge yourself and you kind of hit that end goal of getting to the race or trying to qualify for the Olympics or racing at a world championship, that all makes it worthwhile.